Hey, this is Jesse and Nichols George, and I'm coming to you today because I'm creating this little video clip for allthingsspiritual.com, and this is for their Psycho Spiritual page. They asked me to put a little bit of something together for you, so what I decided is I wanted to share with you my number one tip for making things happen in my life, okay? My number one tip for making things happen is all about breaking it down, okay? We want to make it simple. We want to make it easy. This time of year, many people are making New Year's resolutions. They're setting goals. They're setting challenges for themselves. But you know what? Most of them aren't going to have those things succeed. And the reason for that is because they're very focused on what they have to do, what they feel obligated to do in their life. And when we put a focus there, we have a natural resistance. We have a natural block that comes up for us. And we have natural walls that end up leading us to go down this path of excuses of why we can't focus on it. Um, we take on too much too fast, and we don't want to shock our system with too much change, okay? <laughs> this is just not a good thing. Our bodies don't like it. Our minds don't like it. Our hearts don't like it. And when we don't have any support from those areas, it's very, very hard to succeed. So what we want to do is shift it and say, what do I want to do this year? Okay, what do I want to make happen in my life? And when we come at it from a place of wanting to make it happen, guess what? We're almost assured success. It's like lining every piece of ourselves up. And when we do that, we're aligned with the universe, we're aligned with spirit, we're divine, God, whatever your word is to use on that. And when we align with that, we're going to see the results that we want to see. We're going to see the things happen in our life that we want to have happen. So that's an exciting thing to look forward to. Now, breaking it down, there's two aspects of breaking it down, right? There's the first aspect of taking baby steps, okay? Don't worry about taking these big leaps and bounds right off the bat. Just focus on your baby steps, okay? What tiny little thing can you do at any given moment to move you towards your goal, okay? Or to move you towards what you want to do. Excuse me, <laughs> not goal, but what you want to do. Okay, now, the next piece of it is you want to look at breaking things down into daily, weekly, and monthly, okay? When we break down in the daily, weekly, and monthly aspects, what we're doing is we are making it achievable and we're realizing that we can do these things and we're working away at it every single day. And when we do that, we're building momentum, we're building support, and we're building strength in our endeavor. So when we look at the daily things that we want to do in our lives, what we want to focus on is we want to stick to those things that we can do in 15 minutes to an hour a day, okay? And I want you to overestimate the amount of time that it's going to take you to do something, okay? So if you think that it's going to take you 15 minutes, figure it's going to take you an hour, okay? That's, that's a really good way to do it, and it's a good way to help keep yourself from being discouraged along the way. So those 15-minute types of things that you want to focus on are going to be saying maybe it's building your social media. Maybe it's making a short five-minute video like this, something along those lines, okay? So no more than an hour because when we get past an hour, then we start creating excuses for ourselves of why we can't do it, and we start putting it off. And remember, we don't want to go into the excuse zone, right? So sticking to things ideally that are 15 minutes to do on a daily basis. Now, when we look at things on a weekly basis, what we're looking at is tackling those things that take, mm, say, about half a day to a day to do. When we stick to the half a day to a day factor, then what we can do is we can make bigger pieces get accomplished, but we still have time left for the things that we love to do, and we still have a, a way to keep balance in our life and take care of the things that we need to do, okay? You don't want to spend your whole time following your passion. As much as you might love to do it, you still need to have balance in your life. Take time out for your friends, for your family. Go do something that you love. Go have a few minutes to curl up with a book. Whatever it is for you, you want to keep that balance. So no more than a half a day to a full day um, on a weekly basis. Now, on the monthly basis, that's where you're going to tackle the big chunks, okay? The big chunks, 
are going to be those things that you can do um, where you take a full day to a day to two days to do it. So maybe you take a whole weekend off and you focus completely on managing those bigger chunks that you want to do. And that can be all kinds of things. But once you do that, what you're going to find is you're, you're going to have a real sense of accomplishment. And the fact that you've only done that once a month, you're going to be happy because everything else is flowing in your life as well. And that's a really amazing experience to have. So when we put these together, we have daily at 15 minutes to an hour. We have weekly tasks that are going to be a half a day to a day. And then we're going to have those monthly tasks. And those monthly tasks are going to be one to two full days. Okay? And with all of that put together, it's only going to be a couple of months. And you're going to look back and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I've accomplished so much. It's absolutely amazing. And you're going to be happy with the results. You're going to want to keep going forward. You're going to keep wanting to take the next step and the next step and the next step towards making your life the way that you want it. And there you go. That's my number one big tip for making things happen in your life. Break it down. This is Jessie Ann Nichols George. You take care. And if you'd like to find out more about the work I do, I've got a great radio show. Activating Compassion in the Midnight Hour, and that is on the Main Street Universe grouping on Blog Talk Radio. It's every Friday night. Come check me out. If you'd like to listen to the archives or stay up on things, you can go to my Activating Compassion page, and that is at Facebook.com, Activating Compassion. So Facebook.com forward slash Activating Compassion. Under the events section has all my upcoming shows, and under the notes section has all the archives. Hope you'll come check them out. Thanks so much, and looking forward to seeing you next time.